I was told that these photographs of the town's latest criminals contain some of those we have seen before on many occasions. They were not wrong. Bobby, as he had been known, and had been in these photographs of the most wanted since he shot my father. He had also been drug dealing since I began my job back in 34. This lady was supposedly known to have a connection with him. I knew it was my job to try and find the two so that I could finally be at peace with the death of my father. Had I known what wool was to be pulled over my eyes, things could have ended very differently. Come in. Hello, sir. And what may I do for you, madam? Well, I've been thinking for some time that I should perhaps tell you please on something. But I don't know if I should. Look, whatever it is, you know that we'll help you and have your best interest at heart. Yes, I know. You see, I came over here five years ago from England. And you see, my family weren't too well off. One day after class, I met a guy called Bobby. He said he'd make things better for us, so I believed him. Bobby? Bobby Dent? Oh, you've heard of him. The name is a little familiar. You know, I can't just give him immediately. It had me shot. Look, is there actually a problem here? Or do you just want some appreciation? Oh, there's a problem. There's a problem. Take me out somewhere I'll like. We can solve this thing out together. Right, so on Chester, get in here now. We've got a case to unravel. I couldn't work out for the life of me what it was about Miss Bonnie Kensington that made me fall so fast. Knowing she had the control and was almost in charge of me maybe weaker than I'd ever imagined. I've had a wonderful time tonight. I'll sort this thing out for you, baby. Oh, you're so kind. I wish there was something I could do to repay you. No repayment needed. It's for the both of us. Thank you. Anything for you. I'm here to see your boss. Now step aside, sweet cheeks. I ain't got all night. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, it's past 11. I could have a cop called on me for making such a rude hint of yourself on my doorstep. Good luck with the cops. Now I'm here to see a Mr. Dents. Bobby Dents. I know he's here, so either you step aside and be a good girl, or things could get pretty nasty. Okay, mister, just hold on a second. Step outside, Doran. What's that? Leave us. Now, Detective, what was so urgent that he had to almost knock my door down this time of the night? Well, maybe I just wanted a little chat. See, it's come to my attention recently that you're coming into a large sum of money. Try about 10k. This drug heist you got going on. Don't insult me by saying you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, that amount of smack can send LA back into the oblivion. It's just been crawling its way out. If you'd be so kind as to tell me exactly where the heist is going on, then maybe you and I can go back down to the station. Now, this is gonna happen. So either you talk and we walk there, or I'm gonna beat the information out of you and drag you to the station myself. So, what'll it be? Well, sir, it seems you floated out in some rather deep water. You don't want to mess with the sharks out here, so I suggest you get your head out of my business. I don't want things to get messy. Just tell me what you know. Well, you clearly don't know what you're talking about. Whoever opened that trap to you, and I have a good idea who it is, clearly isn't telling you everything. Cut the crap, Dan. I wasn't finished. 
Now you should go and find out what's really going on, because Miss Kensington isn't as she seems. Leave her out of this. I see. She's already got you wrapped around her little finger. Just be careful you don't get scratched. Now, sir, you've got five seconds to get out of my house, or the next time you see your bunny, you go to a funeral. Sir, to leave her out of this. Just tell me where that deal has taken place. Five. Don't make four, me kill you. I wouldn't want that information three, spread all over the wall two, behind you. Last chance, detective. Spill it, dance. One. Well, it's a shame you let you harbor your head this time. Rookie mistake, kid. Ah! Um. It wasn't me. Cut the bullshit, Bobby. I swear to God, it wasn't me. Well, swear to me. If it wasn't you, who was it, huh? Wait. Who was it, Bobby? Tell me who was it. It was Barney. I couldn't tell you before. What? What do you mean? She's been playing you like a fool. It was Barney all along. No, that can't be right. Sorry, Detective, but little Miss Kensington isn't all she seems. Just to get him to the hospital. I've got to get after that bitch. This isn't over.